What's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to go over three reasons why you don't want or need a folding e-bike. Yep, I said it. Let's dive into it. Before we dive into this video, I wanted to let you guys know that my name is Bobby. My family and I, we live in a RV full time and travel the US. We're looking for that that, that one place, that one town that just kind of grabs our attention that we want to settle down in eventually. So, number one. Okay, so living on the road full time, a lot of people in their RVs will take and put their bikes on a bike rack in the back of their RV. And we see so many times that, that people get their bikes stolen. So we thought, okay, we have enough space in our pass-through storage. We read on the reviews and on the website of many folding bike companies that their bikes will fold away to almost nothing and you can put them in a trunk, and I quote, trunk of a car, you can put them in the closet in your apartment, you can also take them and store them under your desk if you uh, ride to work. That is so far from the truth. Let me tell you, they do fit in our pass-through. I will give it that. They fit in our pass-through. But you guys, this bike weighs 70 pounds and a lot of folding e-bikes are comparable to the exact same weight. Yeah, it does fit, I promise. Oh gosh, let go of my leg. Okay. Uh, here we go. See how easy this is? So that brings us to number two as to why you do not want a folding e-bike. And it's pretty simple. Once you get this thing folded up, okay, and it, again, it is 70 pounds, so if you deadlift it to wherever you're gonna deadlift it to, whether it be in the bed of your pickup truck or in your pass-through in your RV, it's not going in your trunk of your car. <laughs> but once you get it there, it flops around. There is no locking mechanism to keep it secure and, and compact. Okay, so here comes the controversial number three. Number three, why you do not want a folding e-bike is because they are more expensive than regular e-bikes. Okay, this bike was $1,800. There are non-folding e-bikes out there that you could have bought three of, good ones, three of, or maybe even four of, uh, in place of this bike. So, all in all, with number three, spend the money, spend less money on a good non-folding e-bike spend good money on a good bike rack and then get a couple of good locks i mean you know the kryptonite or whatever uh highest quality lock uh that's out there get two of them lock it to the frame of the uh to the rv lock it to the bike rack lock them together just get creative with it and keep people from stealing your bikes because this yeah we we probably should not have gotten the folding e-bikes but that's why i'm sharing this with you and again there are people out there that absolutely love their folding e-bikes. Don't get us wrong. We all have opinions. We all have our likes and dislikes. But for us, mm -mm. And just to be clear, this is not a Bash Aventon Cinch e-bike video. We love this bike. The, April has one. She's got the low bar edition and I have this high bar edition. We absolutely love it. Uh, we have a lot of people that stop us and ask us about them. And it is a great it is a really good bike. It has a 500 watt motor. The, uh, the riding range is around 40 miles uh, if you use it in the, the Assistance 1, which I won't go into that, but you can Google a uh, quick search of that. And all around, we're extremely happy with it. Again, it is very heavy at 70 pounds, so you do feel that on the trail, but that's really the only negative that we have to say about the uh, this folding Abington. So you can see we have the drop frame that goes down so we have all this extra room here in the bottom so that we can fit the folding e-bikes in here i do not think that you will be able to fit unless you have a drop frame the folding e-bikes upright so you will have to lay them over uh, if you do get folding e-bikes to go through your pass-through storage well there you have it those are our three reasons why you do not want or need a folding e-bike like perry says it's five o'clock somewhere so until next time safe travels everyone 